What's up, guys? It's Reese, and so is my season fucking talking about today. We getting cross faded, faded. Look, I mean, we getting Henny Reed in the building. Henny Reed. And we got a glizzy on us, you know. Oh, what up, I'm just like, 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 I'm just Fuck, we better get faded. I ain't gonna remember this shit. <laughs> Where the fuck is the lighter, though? Uh, I'm gonna double upload, so this is gonna upload with a relo. I thought that video was too lame to kind of upload it by itself, so I'm hitting y'all with double time. You see me? But let's get it. Let's get cross faded. I'm gonna start off with this story, too. Let's start the blunt first. Oh, yeah. Don't ask about my hand, bro. I fell off my bike, and I really fucked my shit up. But the two fingers I need is free, so that's whatever. Bottle, you feel me? Already know. Cheers, y'all. Hope y'all getting cross faded with me. Tap the glass. <laughs> mm. So I like. <laughs> All right. So this is the my ex I was with for the longest. So I was we was in high school. You feel me? And this is after we had broke up. And when we broke up, she did a lot of fucked up shit, low-key. Like, at first, when we first broke up, she was walking with this nigga. She told me not to worry about which more shit happened after that. I don't want to talk. Like, she was walking with him in my face. And I'm not going to lie, that shit hurt, bro. I loved her. Like, I did love her. Maybe she ain't love me, but... I know how these females are. I had got tired of it. It was a different nigga she was walking with. So, I had walked past him, and I looked at this nigga... I, I swear I was this close to swinging on him, but I didn't want to get suspended. But later on, he get kicked out of school. But yeah, I ain't get, I ain't want to get suspended and shit like that. And so, but later on, I got mad. So I went to class. I just put my book back down. Just went for a walk in the hallway. I sat with this teacher, probably for like the whole class, cause he they saw I was mad, so they sat me in the classroom. He was asking me what's wrong, so I kind of told him, but I didn't. But I already knew, like, I was about to go look for this nigga after the class. Like, niggas knew me in that school. Like, niggas knew better. Niggas knew that was my girl, bro. You gonna be fucked up if you walk on her. The first nigga she was walking with, I was more hurt because we had just broke up. But this was probably, like, a month or two. Nah, not even a month. Like, oh, I don't know. I don't even remember the time frames, my nigga. But it was, it was like, it wasn't as early. But it was still early. Him after class, I went to go look for him. She went with him. So I seen how I was like, where he at? She was like, get out of my face. I was like, who the fuck you talking to, bro? And then I kept I kept following. I was like, where he at? And then she tried to, she was like, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. And she dropped her book bag trying to fight me. Like, first of all, you a female, bro. I'm not going to swing on you. Like, fuck, fuck wrong with you. <laughs> and... Try to fight me and she got in my face. So I'm just walking away. At first I walked away, and then everybody holding her back. I'm like, I'm like, bro, let her go. She's not gonna hit me, bro. Like, she know better than that. Well, at the time she did. I don't know. I don't know if she was gonna hit me, but she won't go hit me. But we started arguing. Like, I walked away. I put my book back down inside the school, and I went back. Like, we was outside in this little area where you walk through, like, to get to a different hall. So. We was, uh, I put my book down, I went outside, I went outside, and I, we kept arguing. I kept arguing with her, like, I went back outside after I dropped my book and I kept arguing with her. And then, the fucking, I don't know who, I guess they thought we was about to box or some shit, but security came, and teachers. So, she's getting me tight, cause she was talking shit, I don't remember what she said, but she was talking shit. Shit, shit, without. But she was talking shit. About to put the blood 
out for a minute and just sit by this handy for a little bit. And I'm gonna spark it back up. You know, all of that. And uh, I'm gonna let my hair cut the shit in two braids for now. But to me, security came and all of that. And so they tried to hold me back and shit. So I pushed the teacher. That nigga fell. He fell on the floor, like kind of rolled back on his leg. And then I snuffed the, <laughs> I snuffed the security guard, bro. And his chin set. Like his shit went like. And he was like, he was like, oh, you think that hurt? You think that hurt? And I was like, get the fuck up, pussy. And I snuffed him again in his in the other, in the other time. He was like, yeah, that's assault. That's assault. And then they fucking put me against the locker. And bro, I swear, it was two security guards. Could not hold me, bro. I was pushing them all. I wasn't even about to box them, but I was just tight. These niggas is in my face like that. So the teacher walked away. He was like, fuck it. I'm not doing this no more. That nigga, that nigga was like, fuck it. So they, they pushing me against the locker and shit. All this next shit. And they couldn't hold me, so they 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 called for backup and a little radio thing. It was two more scared. Uh, then yeah, they held me. Then they put me uh they put me on the floor, put me in cuffs. Boy. And then um. Then this nigga. Then uh yeah they they had me on the floor and they cuffed my legs too and they was picking me up, holding me like that like. I'm like this is me. My face is like down, and they got my arms and my and my legs up, and they holding me like that. For me, walked me to the office, but he left me in cuffs, put me in a the chair. Then the principal came, and he was just like, "What happened?" And I told her, I told him what happened, and it was like, they was like, uh, they kept asking me, "Do you feel like you gonna do something to the boy or something like that?" And I, I'm not gonna, I was like, when I see him, I'm snuff him straight like that. I said that, like, I don't care. I was tight, bro. I was in my bag. So he was like, yeah, I'm going to have to suspend you. You're going to get 10 days if you do that. I was like, yeah, it's whatever. Then, for me, I just wasn't really trying to talk to them like that. And then, this nigga, this nigga was like, he, he just kept talking. I don't remember everything the fucking principal said, but this nigga was just talking, talking my head off. I'm, I was mad, so I didn't give a fuck. And then, fucking, um, he kept talking to me about some bullshit. And then they were just like, um, you're in danger to her and the boy, so we can't really have you around here. I was like, what do you mean? He was like, I, I'm going to suspend you for 10 days, but you got to go to Lakeview. Lakeview is like this this uh, detention school, bro. And niggas boxing there like every day, bro. And I'm short, but I can fight. But like jumping, like fighting multiple niggas, bro, I can't do it, bro. I'm not about to get jumped. So he was trying to send me there. Niggas be getting jumped over there. So I was like, I'm not going over there. It was like. If you do that, then don't come back here. He was like, was like, if I don't go over there, I can't go back to school there. I was like, man, whatever, I'll go. And then, for me, later on, I was just like, bro, fuck that shit. And then it was like, okay, you're in danger to everybody here. Security guards, you bring your hands up. Security guards, you're in danger to the girl. You're in danger to the boy who was with her, and you're just doing too much. So they was like, yeah, we can't come here no more. We're going to have to expel you. I was like, what? Bro, fuck all of that. And then my grandma came to get me, like, some shit. And they told her she was just surprised as fuck. And she enrolled me for this other school when I graduated. But this shit is crazy, bro, for real. I was on the honor roll, too, bro. I was getting so much good grades. And I went to my new school. Like, I was still getting good grades, but, like, it weren't as high as they were. So, yeah, I mean, everything turned out alright at the end. But, like, damn, man. That shit was crazy. <laughs> I was with my favorite ex, too. And the crazy thing is, like, I don't even think she was on the same, like, I don't even think she fucked with me like that. Like, she fucked with me, but, like, I guess towards the end, she wasn't. She did a lot of shit, like, it was crazy, a lot of crazy shit. We had her argued in public a lot. Honestly, I wish I could take a lot of that shit back, because, like, I don't know, I'm just different now, you feel me? Like, if I, I was an asshole back then, I'm like, I was mean to her. But I wasn't, like, OD mean to her, but, like, we was mean to each other, but, like, I don't know, bro. She just got tired of me. I don't know. <laughs> you ready, though? Niggas is cross-faded. I'm tipsy. And, and um, I'm high. You feel me? Cross-faded. I'm about to have a new intro, you feel me? I'm just waiting for my boy to send me a song so I don't get copyrighted for the song. It's gonna be tough.
my mask for Halloween. I'm scared to shit at some little kids with that shit. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. You know, I'm still gonna go trick or treat. I don't care. You don't never get too old to trick or treat, bro. Free candy. I'm not hearing it. <laughs> but yeah, y'all yeah, right. remember to subscribe, bro. Hit that button. You feel me? Hit that button for me. Hit the hit the bell. Hit that subscribe button for me. You feel me? But yeah, I'ma let y'all go. Y'all stay up. Pray for my hand. You feel me? And she like that. I got another video coming too. After these two, it's gonna be a banger. Trust me. Everybody, put your lighters up. Bro, it's gonna start with me again, bro. Yeah. We here.